Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, see, folks, sampler video series videos I've been doing for a while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, at the time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling a little extra snazzy right now, but we'll get to that. It's a super simple format, folks. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to eat and or drink some stuff. I'm going to yam around about it for a while. It's, it's, it's a little, you know, that's the format. There's nothing particularly miraculous or spectacular or splendiferous about it. But hopefully that's what you're here for. <laughs> While I'm doing so, I'm inside the truck. And... I'm doing something else while I'm inside the truck. What is that? I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, ah, I like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Well, it's obscured a bit by other stuff. It's boom, it's my Bloody Wood shirt. What with the Bloody Wood? Uh, if you're not familiar with Bloody Wood, they are a band out of India. Uh, they're a, uh, they, they, they sort of coined the term Indian street metal. They're basically a mix of, you know, uh, traditional western instruments and well not traditional western instruments but you know guitars and stuff like that um traditional indian instruments that's what i meant to say and then you also have like harsh vocals and rap vocals and like it's fucking phenomenal i, I love those folks um i'm a big fan and actually at the time i'm doing this in eh, a few hours i'm gonna go see them perform again for the second time it's their second time coming to america actually have videos of the first time they were here in America on this very channel, just in case you're interested. It's also why I'm all super dudded up, because I got my Society One ring. Ooh, Society One, they're a great band out of California. I also got my my beads done by my friend, China McCoy. Excellent dude, stuntman, martial artist, actor, comic book creator, just always working, always busting his ass. Uh, I've also got a couple of dog tags. I got my, my cold dog tag cold and it's got the spider on the other side i like cold i don't care what anybody says i like cold i'm actually going to be going to see them in uh, like a week and a half so i'll have videos from that on there too and then i also have my consume the divide tag which is uh consume the divide is a local band that are super fucking awesome really good dudes um i might end up running into one or two of them at this show because they go to a lot of the same shows that i go to thing is though we always do this thing where they'll hit me up and they'll be like dude where are you at and i'm like i'm like way up front where are you at and they're like i just got here and then we don't end up actually running into each other but anyway what am i trying for y'all today what are we doing oh my god boom it's this it's uh, uh yeah sure why not it is red bull the summer edition juneberry flavored artificially flavored I have no idea what a fucking Juneberry is. It sounds like some shit that white people invented, though. And I say that as a clearly very white person. But this sounds like somebody came up with this at a Whole Foods. Now, I'm sure it's probably a thing. I'm sure I just don't know about it because I don't know. I'm not a berry expert, okay? I didn't go to berry school like some of y'all fancy folks with your berry doctorates. I didn't do that. Okay, I went over there. I went to fucking community college for a couple years and dicked around. And then eventually was like, oh. And now I run a multi-million dollar fucking machine. Yeah, so anyway, Red Bull does these things. I kept waiting for a spring edition. I never saw it, but I finally found the summer edition. So, let's give it a go. I don't particularly need it at the moment. I'm not, like, super tired or anything, but I just want to get it in, so... What is that like? I've had something similar to this. I like it. I actually really do. I think it's good. Um, it's a fairly mellow drink, especially by Red Bull standards. There's a little bit of a tanginess kind of at the end when you get that sort of Red Bull sort of citrus hit. Um... But it's not uh, not as heavy on a lot of them. And, like, the flavor, the best I could describe it as is it's like a very mellow blueberry flavor. 
Like, instead of having, like, sort of a mild tartness that blueberries tend to have, there's, like, no tartness. It's just, just a very sort of chill berry flavor. But it reminds me of something. I've definitely, if I haven't had June berries, which I don't think I have, but I, I had to have had something similar to this. Like, I've tried so much weird shit over the years, it's like, I couldn't fucking tell you, but it is definitely evocative of something. Um, maybe, like, Huckleberry? Like, I've had, I've never had Huckleberries, but I've had Huckleberry Soda a few times. I have an interesting history with Huckleberries. <laughs> it's not that interesting, but it came up in a podcast one time. Um... But yeah, I like it. I appreciate that it's kind of mellow. It's got a good berry flavor to it. It's flavorful. And the main thing for me is that it doesn't taste too much like Red Bull. I am not a big Red Bull fan. Uh, just like the base stuff. But I like a lot of their flavors. I think one of the best things they ever did was when they came out, started coming out with flavored Red Bull. Um, I was actually doing my gas station gig when they came out with the first like three runs, like the first three flavors. Which, you had the blueberry, which is still around. It's still really good. I think maybe you had, like, a cranberry or a raspberry. And then, like, maybe, like, a citrus or something. I don't remember. It's been a long-ass time. But I remember the blueberry one was really good. I was glad that one stuck around. But all of them tasted better than the basic Red Bull. Because I just Red Bull... Like, I mean, I know they've adjusted their... Uh, the recipe over the years because like the the actual stuff comes from thailand and my understanding of it i've never actually had like the, the the og stuff but i've heard it's like thicker it's more like syrupy um you know and i i just never been a big fan of it it's it's definitely not a go-to energy drink for me but every now and again i will get one of their flavored ones which begs a question two questions would i get this again would i recommend it yeah and yeah like, seriously, I actually like this. I think I probably prefer the blueberry still, but I like that this one's a little bit more mellow. Like, sometimes I want the blueberry because it's, you know, it's got that extra tartness to it. You know, it's got a little extra hit. But then there's other times where it's like, yeah, no, you know what? Maybe not so much. Maybe I would be a little bit better served with something a little bit more chill, and I think that this works for that. And as for recommending it, I mean, it's a limited edition flavor. You have, you know, nothing to lose but, like, maybe, like, two fifty dollars or whatever it costs for this thing. It's just fucking ridiculous when you consider how little you get. But, I mean, it's good. If you enjoy berry stuff, there's really no reason to... As for it being Juneberry flavored, like I said, I don't even know what the fuck Juneberries are. But it's tasty to me. But anyway. It's almost like a mix between a blueberry and a strawberry, but without the tartness of either. That's the best way I can describe it, I think. Anyway. Uh, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. rest of your folks. You can go over there and have yourselves a truly <sighs> Juneberry-tastic rest of your life. I don't even... Like I said, they might be imaginary for all I know. Maybe Red Bull invented them. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do what we can't do all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, that's not always the easiest thing to do. Trust me. Okay? You know what I mean? I'm over there, you know, I'm, I'm dudded up. I'm about to have a good old time and everything, you know, but like, you know, wasn't all that, wasn't the case this whole day. You know, I had a crappy night at work and then, you know, got home and was a little bit bummed out. Just, you know, general life bullshit. And that's the thing. We run into times in our life where things are stressful or frustrating and take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholes in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. That's what I want you to go over there and do. Um, folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to hit me up in the comments and you're going to be like, Brandon, Juneberries are a thing. They've been around. They're American Revolution, blah, blah, blah. George Washington's favorite pie was Juneberry pie, blah, blah, blah. You're a communist. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm clearly ignorant about Juneberries, but I don't think that has anything to do with my political, you know, affiliations. 
which are mine and mine alone, goddammit. You know, this is America. I'm allowed to fucking feel however way I want about the government. <laughs> which isn't even, that's, I mean, I guess it's a political statement by the, by the na notion of it being in a political uh, platform, but I don't think I'm ruffling too many feathers there. <laughs> But we can debate on this however much you want. I mean, not really, because I'll just, I'll mostly ignore it. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to get into political shit. But, or conversely, you could not do that. Maybe just go over there, try yourself out some Juneberry Summer Edition Red Bull. Maybe go check out some Bloody Wood. Bye.